So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. Update number two of three. And this time we're going to talk about Ben White again, as he has landed in the UK, in London, to do his medical. And uh, we're going to come on to that in a second. Make sure you stick a massive thumbs up on this video if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe, circulate the videos around and around. I would appreciate that. And uh, it does always help. Very close to 60,000. Yes, 60. Nearly the whole of the Emirates Stadium subscribe to this channel. So thank you very much for all of that. Really appreciate it. Make sure also you go and subscribe to the Morley Gunner channel. That link is in the description. I'll be dropping the vlog later. I've had mad dramas this weekend. Um, as I recall this, the electricity is gone. Uh, so luckily my Mac was charged. But the whole block has got no electric at the moment. All I've wanted to do since yesterday is go to the swimming pool and just relax. And every time I've gone to go to the pool, something else has come up. So, uh, so yeah, a bit of a crazy one, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, Ben White obviously uh, was on holiday and uh, caught a flight. Everyone was getting gassed that he was coming back to the UK. He wasn't. They were tracking the flights. They were following him all around everywhere. And it turns out that he ended up in Ibiza and uh, he's done, what, maybe a week, five days in Ibiza. Well, today, this afternoon, he landed in London ahead of his medical. And I have been reliably informed that that medical is today. Not Wednesday, as it was originally announced. But listen, we'll see. It might be today. It might be Wednesday. I'm not there, so I can't tell you. Uh, but from what I have been told, and uh, the person who's told me is pretty damn reliable. So, um, And why would he land in London five days before a medical? <laughs> that just makes no sense. You might as well have stayed in Ibiza for another four days and then come back on the day of the medical. So <clears throat> I'm inclined to believe that it is today. Um, it wouldn't make any sense to me that he's come back on Saturday for a medical pending for for Wednesday. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm hoping that this will be announced Monday or Tuesday. Uh, if he has done his medical today, um, then that is definitely possible. Monday, Tuesday, we should see an announcement, which would be kind of funny considering that the medical was apparently penciled in for Wednesday. So we'll see. Maybe. Maybe it is, maybe we won't see the announcement until the end of next week. But either way, Ben White is going to be an Arsenal player, officially announced next week, I'd imagine. Like I said, hopefully Monday, Tuesday, but maybe later in the week. And um, yeah, now he's here and he's, uh, he's one of our players. We're going to have to see how he goes, get behind him and hope that he's... Um, hope that he's worth the 52 million or 50 million quid that we're actually spending out on him because it is an awful lot of money to spend on a player that... I don't know, has had, what, one full season in the Premier League? Um, albeit he's had a half-decent season, he's been pretty good by all accounts, but at the same time, it's still a lot of money, a lot of money. He's, he's 23, so he's still got many years ahead of him, but £50 million for Ben White, English tax, fifth, sixth choice centre-back for England, just goes to show how overpriced English footballers are. Um, and on that basis, how much of some of the English players we've got at the club, Bako Saka, for example, uh, Smith Rowe, how much are these two worth? Because um, Saka is an absolute superstar. So he's got to be touching 100 mil working on that basis then, right? I don't know. You tell me. But um, but yeah, like I said, now he is here. We're just going to have to hope and pray that he starts straight into the team and um, can do the business alongside either Gabriel, who I'd imagine would be his partner for the season, or Pablo Marie. But what does this mean for Rob Holding? Where does Rob Holding go from here? Because is he now going to be the bench player? This is the player that we were protecting his value on. Um, does that mean we might even sell him? Because let's be honest, he ain't all that. He really ain't. And um, he must be fuming that we've signed Ben White because that's in his position. But having said that, Rob Holding would be the backup, I'd imagine, when you've spent 50 million quid out on a centre-back, you can't be leaving him on the bench. So I'd imagine that Rob Holding is going to play second fiddle, but also is he going to be happy playing second fiddle? Because it's not like we've got loads of games this season. We haven't got no Europa League, so there's 15 games gone straight away. Um, obviously, we've got the cup games, but I don't think any of the cup games start until January. So I'm pretty sure maybe the League Cup. Yeah, the League Cup has started a little bit earlier than that, won't it? But, you know, let's be honest. Um, we normally put out the reserve uh, reserve team for the uh, for the League Cup. So I don't really know. But we've got Saliba. Uh, he's obviously gone on loan. So that only leaves Rob Holding and now Ben White in that position. And then Marie, 
and um, Gabriel. But then Callum Chambers as well. Where's Callum Chambers going to go? What's he going to be doing? Is he going to be leaving? Are we going to be playing him as a backup right back or even the main right back? I don't know. And there's still plenty of outs that need to happen because we've got way too many average players at this football club. And um, yeah, we need to get rid of some pretty damn quick. And not only that, it would bring in some more money where hopefully we could then go and spend that on other players because Ben White, Laconga, and uh, Bru um, Bruno, I didn't say Bruno, uh, Tavares even, um, is not enough. That ain't enough to get us anywhere near the top four. So I don't really um, see what, what the hold-up's been on getting players out because we've had plenty of time to do the business. We just haven't done it. And um, I would have liked to have seen a lot of these players left already. And sadly, they haven't. So, yeah, big couple of weeks coming up. It's less than three weeks until we kick off against Brentford. And um, we're nowhere near ready, squad-wise. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Be interesting to see whether Ben White starts on that opening game. I, I probably imagine that he'd be on the bench. Um, depends how fit he is. Obviously, I know, like I said, he's been on holiday. I'd imagine he's been having a couple of um, beers along the way and uh, needs to get back into full training so that he's ready and he's sharp for the first game. And... Like I said, I don't think you're going to be able to do that inside uh, three weeks, especially um, if you've not been in a training session as of yet and we're recording this on Saturday afternoon. So, yeah, less than three weeks. By the time he does get into training, it'll be closer to two weeks. And um, that ain't going to be enough to get him up to match fitness for the first game. So don't expect to see Ben White on the opening game. I'd imagine seeing maybe three or four games in perhaps. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave it all in the comment section down below and let me know your thoughts on all of that. And um, yeah, let me know uh, about Ben White. Do you think he'll start the opening game? Um, let me know. Do you think he's going to be value for money? Uh, leave that in the comment section as well. And uh, let me know what outs that you want to see as well. What, what do you think about Callum Chambers? What about Rob Holding, et cetera, et cetera. So leave all of that in the comment section as well. I'd appreciate that. And um, yeah, hopefully... Um, we're going to see a few more players coming in and quite a lot of players going out over the next couple of weeks because, like I just said, we're nowhere near ready. Nowhere near ready. But listen, stick a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you haven't already, and make sure you go and follow my other channel, More Lee Gunner. The vlog will be dropping at 8 o'clock tonight, and um, make sure you're subscribing on that. It's nearly on 5K. We're pushing up to 5K. So, so yeah, big up to everybody who has subscribed on both channels. This one's going mad. That one's going mad. I do appreciate all the love. And uh, I'll be back again at 10 o'clock tonight. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, we're going to be talking about Tammy Abraham again. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that one at 10 o'clock tonight. And like I said, make sure you go and check out the other channel as well. Uh, until then, we'll have a wicked Saturday, whatever it is you are doing. And uh, make sure I'll tear her out. Always out.